Illustrator patterns and Photoshop patterns are not compatible. One's a raster format, one's a vector format. You can convert between the applications. And I'm just going to go from Illustrator to Photoshop. So I'm just going to go to the Swatches palette. That's Window, Swatches. And I'm just going to quickly load Swatch File, Open Swatch File, Open Library. Go and select one, Adobe Illustrator Swatches. Now as many of those available on graphicextras.com, but you can use any other Swatches file you can find on the web as well, as well as your own you've created. So Hearts Designs, I'm just going to select that. AI File, click Open. Just reading all the files. Now select one, you can select any of these ones, of course, just quickly select them. As soon as you click on the design, it will appear in the Swatches palette. Go to the, I'm just going to go and create a rectangle, very simple, and there's the heart design. So you can just see the heart designs. Now, obviously not so simple to actually create a pattern from that, but what you can do is just actually just select the pattern here, drag it into the document, the artboard, and from there you can actually just create a quick defining box. It's going to be with nothing in it. So it's zero, so no fill, no stroke. As soon as you've done that, select both, copy, edit copy, and now go to Photoshop. Once you get into Photoshop, you can then go and create a new document. So, but I've got a document open here, so I don't have to do that, of course. So I can just quickly paste that in I'm going to use a smart object. I prefer that because it's still a vector format, so it can change it and modify it. So I'm just going to resize it. To, it's a vector design, so you can resize it to any point. So you could actually create a pattern 2000 by 2000, or just 10 by 10 pixels, if you wish. So just double click that, so it's now. And then layer, flatten. And I'm just going to use the whole design now. But I could actually just do a selection. To actually define the, the range but define pattern so click OK now I can go to edit fill put it white so then layer new fill layer pattern click OK and now there's the pattern from Photoshop stored in a PAT file well it will be if you actually go and save the uh, pattern I'm not going to go and do that but you can save the PAT file and that will have that design included. So I'm just going to resize. There's 50. Now, of course, you can create more interesting patterns than just that. You can maybe make a checkerboard designs or overlapping designs. It's a whole range of things you could do, as well as maybe having a different backgrounds, combining different uh, shapes. So it's not just straight sort of lines like columns and rows. But uh, you can do a whole variety of things, patterns in Photoshop.